Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing some arts and crafts on this BMW. So if I'm being honest, I really debated even filming this, but I figured, hey, it's some content for you guys. Some of you may find it interesting. I think it's safe to say one of the biggest eyesores on this car is these side reflectors on the US bumpers. So there's a few ways to tackle these. They make painted uh, covers for them and whatnot, but I'm gonna try smoking them and tinting them today, and I'll show you how. And the reason I say I debated even filming this is because not too many people could follow along with this, but maybe they'll be inspired by what's done here. So this is my daughter's uh, little art kit here. It's a Cricut vinyl printer, and I already have some window tint left over from when I tinted the rear window of an F30. So I figured why don't I try to use this machine to cut out a perfect outline and put it on the car and see if I'm successful. So I'm going to take this picture here and send it to myself. I'm on my computer. Here's the file. I'm going to Lightroom to fix it up a little bit. Main thing I want to do is increase the contrast so you can differentiate Maybe up the exposure a little bit, the highlights, cut the shadows, increase the white so it stands out a little bit more, drop the blacks a bit, up the vibrance so the orange stands out more. So the whole point is I'm trying to make this just pop a little bit more. So I'll export this, email it to myself and carry on from the other computer. So I'm opening a piece of software called Cricut Design Space. So we're doing a new project. So I'm uploading that image I just made. I'm gonna click on simple, click continue. I wanna remove anything that's a different color here. That didn't quite work out. So I'll have to keep playing with this. I'll come back when I can easily remove everything but that orange. All right, I'm trying again with a different image. Now that I've got it mostly isolated, I'm gonna click automatic to see if it grabs all the little bits and pieces. There, cleaned it up nicely for me, see? And that shouldn't be distorted based on the angle that I took. So let's click apply. So we wanna cut the image. And it, when you do, it automatically knows to smooth the edge because it doesn't want a jaggedy edge when you're cutting vinyl. Now what we gotta do is figure out the true size of that and I can actually compare it to here. Okay, so I got some tape here, measuring between these two lines. I got 4.88 inches. In the software here, you can adjust the size to make it match. So 4.887. You don't really have to line it up with anything here. I'm just going by the exact. So I got 4.887 there, this distance here. So I don't have to really worry about where I place this in space. So now I'll show you how to print this. Let's see how it goes. So FYI, I didn't end up using the picture that I enhanced for my camera. I ended up actually using my cell phone. So didn't have to do anything too fancy to get that done. So this is a sticky pad for the Cricut machine. So for the first one, the orientation is not going to matter. All right, I'm going to power the machine on. Over here, I got to click a button that says make it. I don't necessarily need to mirror it right now. I'm just going to go for the side that it fits on. Okay, so I'm going to click continue on this. It's going to ask me to feed it in. That button starts flashing. So I put this here, it'll take it in, and then you press this. And we'll take this out. So I got a little close to the line there. I should have lowered it a little bit, but we'll just use this to see if we were close or not. So I'll just lift up on this. And I'm left with the outline. I'll bring this over to the car and see how it fits. And it doesn't fit, so we'll see what I did wrong. I was a little off on the sizing, but here you go, as you can see, that already looks really good. It's just gotta be slightly longer, just ever so slightly. I got my sizing figured out, hard to make out, but I'm going to move this all the way over to about here, where there's still some material left. Click continue. The light's gonna start flashing. Bring this over here, press this. What we'll see is it cut it out right here now. And I'm actually lifting off the tint material and leaving the clear side down. Just figured you guys will find this interesting. It's something different, you know, at the end of the day, you can take a picture from your cell phone in this case and turn it into a perfect cutout. That's gonna, that's like literally pennies. What I'll do before anything is I'm gonna do a mirrored version of it on this side. So I'm gonna click finish and click make it again. This time I'll click mirror 
and we'll bring it over to where it looks like it would not get cut up. This should fit. We'll get a mirrored version of it over there. That's for the other side. So I'm gonna extract this, leaving the clear protection for the tint down. That's sticky to the touch. So I'll bring this over to the car. So we can maneuver it around. I'm gonna use tint application solution. There's a look at the end result. There's a lot of light being bounced back at the camera artificially. That exposure is about what it looks like in real life. Hardly even noticeable, it kind of blends away and you can't even see it. But I'll go back to a higher exposure. I bumped my exposure up for video purposes, but even still with the exposure blown out and there's a lot of reflection coming back off the bumper into the camera lens, it still really disappears. From back here, looks real clean. You can hardly see it. So let's go to the other side. So here was my thought process with this. I always found it pretty interesting how versatile that Cricut machine was. I paid less than $200 for it. It was a good toy for my daughter to play around with, to make her own t-shirts and whatnot with iron-on vinyl. So I looked at it like this. I wanted to tint these. I figured it'd be easy to apply tint, but it'd be hard to cut it out. I remember that she had that machine and I figured I could just take a picture of it. So I literally thought to myself, maybe some of you guys have kids and some of you guys will be inspired by this video to maybe wrap some interior pieces or whatnot. Look what's possible. There you go. Again, the exposure's blown out. That's more true to life, what I'm seeing right now with my own eyes. Nice clean upgrade. That cost me probably 20 cents when you count the material. I can make hundreds and hundreds of these with the $20 roll. This bumper has a couple scratches on it, FYI. Even that piece of tin has more room on it. And to show you what I was talking about with the tint, the clear. You can see the clear protection stayed on the board. My daughter messes around with this quite a bit and she really enjoys it. There's a lot of cool things you can do with it, making stickers, making decals, um, t-shirts and whatnot. But hey, you can get pretty creative with your car. So I turned off my lights just so it would look a little more natural. I erred on the side of leaving it a little bit larger so that if it shrinks, it won't pull in too much. So it kind of fills that gap perfectly. In worst case, with heat in the sun, it will shrink slightly and still be perfectly fine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It just shows you what's possible instead of seeing the same old, same old in terms of DIYs and whatnot for a particular model of car. So if you guys found this interesting or entertaining, please give it a like. If it's the first video you're catching on mine, please consider subscribing. I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching.